All right, so welcome to the first podcast. I'm here with Matt and Andrew, close friends of mine. Uh, this is something new on the channel. We're gonna be talking about Yankees baseball. So uh, the date is June sixteenth. Uh, the day after the Yankees lost to the Oakland Athletics by a score of eight to seven on a walk off Chris Davis bloop single into center field. Uh, Yankees are now on a three game losing streak. Uh, I think their offense is there. Best offense in baseball. Best offense in baseball. Okay. Statistically, it's mostly there. I mean, there's the liability of Chris Carter. That's <laughs> really it. But other than that, they're doing really well. Um, statistically, the best offensive team in baseball. Well, now CC goes down. Because of Chris Carter. Thanks to Chris S. I mean, Carter. I don't think it was his fault, personally, but... So was. He catches that ball and keeps his eyes open on first base. I saw I saw a picture on Twitter the other day. It was like... Well, the day he did it, it was a... Uh, it was like Carter... It was, what was it? It was like... It was it was along <clears throat> with the... Uh, if Carter and Clipper Clark, switched yeah. positions, no, it was something like that. It Carter was, and Clipper would switch positions for a game, no one would realize. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what he wanted. Um... So where do you think the Yankees? What do you think the Yankees need to improve on right now? First base. First base. First I think I don't know, you guys heard about the setbacks with Greg, Greg Bird. Yeah. He hurt his foot or something during his. Uh, that's like yeah. that's this guy's just injury prone. I feel like he's like he can't get. He's played in a year. Yeah, he can't get healthy. It's and then when he's healthy, he's struggling because he obviously doesn't look healthy. He's not. But uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to fix Matt that. Matt Holiday didn't look bad at first base the other night. That's true. I like Matt Holiday. He's a really good player. Yeah, he looked pretty nice over there. Solid DH. Yeah, but I think he can also play first Clubhouse base. Presence. I'd rather have him at first base. Who's going to DH? Can't put Judge because then you're going to start ref Snyder and right because Ellsbury's still on the deal. So bring up Tyler Austin. I mean, I don't know why they're not. He should be playing first base. I love him. Tyler Austin. I think, I think he should when be playing him first and Judge. Base right now. When him and, was it him and Judge who were the back to back first? Yeah, they're debuting on the same day. Yeah. Back to back. They should easily, easily play together. They should easily, he should easily be brought up right now because I know he got hurt, Tyler Austin. Yeah. I, think, I think he's fine now. Yeah, he's in Triple A right now, and they should call him. That's how. Well, they said their most likely labor tours will be called up before the trade deadline. I saw that today. At least by the trade deadline. I saw that, but I don't know. I I read something that the uh, where's he? Double A or Triple A right now? It's Triple A. Triple A. I heard in Triple A. His Triple A coach said he will. He's not yeah, ready for the majors right now, but no. Yeah, well, I mean, All Star game is in what, two weeks. Three no, weeks? It's in July. Which it, today's June sixteenth. Late June. It's mid July. It's mid June. The Midsummer's Classic. <laughs> uh, I think But he's not a first baseman Who do you think on the Yankees Is going to be to make the all-star team? Judge Judge sure. Castro should DD should I think Holiday should To be honest Holiday I think should. Holiday's Hicks should Holiday's having a better season Than that than he has the past 10 seasons yeah. You know uh, Gardner No Gardner uh, He's starting to slack no, yeah, I'll tell you gonna, He's not going to start Where's he's Gardner make Gardner is He's good but he's not Better than He wouldn't himself. start yeah, he's, he's not gonna Gardner's make. hitting 266 He's the third best outfielder On the team right now and he's got. Honestly, uh, oh. DD might not because he hasn't. He's, he's only 13, been playing for a little bit. Yeah, Thirteen still, homers. He's in a sixty minutes the beginning of the season. Gardner's got more homers now than he did at all last season, and I yeah. think he's having a comeback season. But still, he's not going to be. He's not going to be an all star. Who Gardner? Yeah, not this year. Well, who's in the first place? Uh, who right now? What's the uh, all star game voting? Was... Judge is probably still in first. No, nah, Judge is uh, like first in the MLB voting. The outfield right now is Mookie Betts, Judge, and Trout. But Trout's probably. But Trout's hurt, so he's not gonna play. Yeah, so who's the next? Um. I don't think Garner can. I don't know. I feel like. I'm he sorry, can't Garcia. Yeah, nah. He's leading the. He's, yeah, leading he's second he's in AL fourth, hits. Yeah, he's, he's leading the uh, he's AL leading the average hits, right yeah. now. Fourth in the league in average. Judge's average is crazy. He's fifth right now. It's three thirty-five. He's got yeah. sixty. He's got. He's got a total of 227. Yeah, I know. He's triple crown numbers, dude. Triple crown numbers. He's got... He's leads, he leads MLBs. <laughs> he leads in average, right? Does he leave in average? I don't know. Yeah, homers. He is first in the AL. Judge leads in homers and... Second and third in RBIs next to Cruz. I know that. Cruz and the second in RBIs, yeah. Yeah. No, it's Cruz. Yeah. He's definitely in the top, like, five in multiple categories. Best, yeah, yeah. Who, Judge? Yes. Yes. I think he's the MVP right now, to be honest. Like, who, who, who else except for uh, Trout? But Trout's hurt. No, no, no. In the Trout's NL, on the NL. Yeah, but it's. I know, I'm, saying, I'm yeah, just saying, like, he, but like, no, it was. Uh, Zimmerman's going off this year too. Charlie Blackman. Yeah, Charlie Blackman. He's been really well. He's, he's, he's been he's been quiet now. Yeah, but so is Judge. Yeah, they hit Homer in three games. Two games. Wow. Three games without Homer. 
The Yankees record when he homers is like ridiculous. It's like nineteen yeah. and four, nineteen and three, something like that. Which I think is crazy. He's definitely their new like cheater. He's around the clubhouse, on the field, uh, the way he composes himself. I I full faith that he's the next cheater. Bro, I mean, I hope. I mean, I, if he I continues mean, to play the way he is now, he's undoubtedly. They were saying that Gary Sanchez, the, the Sanchez, and how did I? Sanchez. I mean, obviously he's a good player, but I'm, I haven't seen anything to really prove he's what. A fantastic he's, catcher. I know, but he's a catcher of the future. He is very good. I don't know. I I don't want to say he's overrated. I love. I love. He's a, he's a well. But he's got to prove himself. He's a well-rounded player. He's got to prove himself. I think he's got to prove himself. He's fantastic. He can. He can sucks. Throw down a second. He could hit. He could do it all. You know who's really out of step it up? Tyler Clippard because Hell yeah, Tyler they've Clippard. blown t- he's blown two games for us that we could have easily have needed. That's that's not good. They should have won in Los Angeles that night. They should have won in Oakland last night. They blew two leads. Yeah, yeah I wish I oh man, they I mean, died well, in one shot. Chapman not being there is definitely yeah, Chapman because they're pushing everyone up in inning. Clippers not an eighth inning pitcher. Clippers not a freaking pitcher, Clippers, man. Clippers not put, a Clipper any first, pitcher. put Clipper at first first base. Let him let him catch some balls. Nah, I don't know. Because when Jacoby Ellsbury comes back now, what are you going to do with Aaron Hicks? Who can arguably be... He's an all-star. An all-star. I mean, you have three Hicks Yankees outfielders right now that could be potentially, potentially be all-star. Right? Oh, few. Gordon, I don't think so. I mean, with Ellsbury's contract, you kind of have Say they do, that think? that could be the DH if they move Holiday to first, if that's a consistent no, thing. they're not going to play Holiday first. No, they're not going to want to play he's Holiday first. Yeah. <laughs> they're not going to want to, but it wouldn't be a bad move. If they're not going to. Yeah, but Holiday... Look at how old is he? He's uh. Yeah. I looked that up. Uh, he's he's like late thirties, isn't he? Yeah. But he's not gonna wanna. Yeah, so he's not a first baseman. He's enough that he can play, but he's not gonna be an everyday first. Yeah, baseman. but I don't even know why they put him out the other day. Holiday is. Uh, he is. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. So you want a thirty-seven-year-old playing first base instead of Chris Carter? I okay, think. So then. Have Chris Carter. If you just work with four outfielders like they do. They did it before Ellsbury, before Ellsbury was on the DL. Yeah. Jordy managed his outfield as well. Yeah, but Hicks wasn't heating up, so they were just like, whatever, let him at. Yeah. You know. But he was still hot when Ellsbury was playing. No matter Jordy what, they need, they need the to keep outfield. judging there no matter what. Judge is the everyday right there. No, ju- Judge and Gardner are staying because Gardner. Honestly, why Gardner's don't you try. Why don't you try. Those just bringing up Tyler Austin. They should. Then you should play first base. No, not even that. Test you, him in the outfield. No, he's an outfielder too. That, now you would have to do that. Now when Ellsbury comes back, because when Ellsbury comes back, why would you add another? Outfit no, because then you would test and like before the trade deadline. Outfit. Before the trade deadline happens, whoever's performing the best, you keep, and then sh- you give somebody up. So give somebody up for an asset. For a pitcher. Yeah. They're not gonna trade Ellsbury. They're not gonna take Ellsbury's contract. All right, so then you gotta keep insane. Ellsbury. I'd rather keep Ellsbury than Hicks. I don't know. I feel like Hicks is just. I feel Hicks like he's coming off it. He's I know, I know. That's why he's worth a lot right now. Why don't you trade? Why don't Why don't you give up? He's batting three oh six, ten homers, thirty six RBIs. He's got a top. I think he's yeah, got the best offense. You, I think he's got the best on base percentage in the league. Yeah, but you're looking at that now. You could easily say that the Yankees are the best offense in the league. They are. They are. So then, why can't you give up one of your big weapons? You're still gonna have a better offense. Why don't you get some defense in there? I understand. Hicks is great arm. Judge is second on base percentage, and Hicks is sixth in the, in the entire league in on base percentage. You're not going to trade him. Did you see Gregorius got like 16 no game hitting streak? Yeah, no one's going to take Ellsbury because of his 17? contract. I don't know. One last the night. only thing with Gregorius is that he hasn't played as many as everyone else because he was hurt. Yeah, that's why his average is through the roof. So like his still... average is great, but he's not still he's still not qualified. He hasn't even played for... the minimum games. I've yeah, he hasn't. Uh, to be considered as like a top. All right, but um. If you look, honestly, you wouldn't want to trade one of your extra outfielders. It, it even throw in Ref Shiner in that, because Ref Shiner is... With the prospects they have, they would move a prospect before they remove a roster player right now for a pitcher. See, with, but, how deep, with how I deep know, their I farm know. system is. But I feel I like their farm system with, can play in the MLB. Yes, but with how deep their farm system is, that's the move they'd make instead. But why would you see Clinton Frazier? He's an outfielder, correct? They're not going to move him. They should. That's what I'm saying. Why exactly don't you move you a roster to, player to, to bring him up even? Because he's not MLB ready yet. Come on. He's not. Oh, I don't care if you say MLB right here or not. No, I mean, give me a break. They didn't... They're an entire year ahead of schedule right now. An entire year of where they were supposed to be. This was They're supposed to be where they are now next year. Is that year not right mine? Now. That's yours. That's mine. 
an entire year ahead of schedule. Tastes like Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> um, who? Triple A? Yeah, you know, the entire Yankees... The Yankees right now are an entire year ahead of schedule. No, they're like four years ahead of schedule, dude. They were like last in the MLB two seasons ago. Listen, if Judge, if Judge this... is not supposed to be this hot. No. Hicks wasn't supposed to play like Well, this. honestly, they're I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it, but... You knew what you were getting from Sanchez, DD. Cash was having a better year. I don't want to say this, but with these three games in a row, can the... Like, the, obviously the offense is there. They scored, what, yeah, but six runs the other night? Eight now? It's like, nothing to worry about. With the offense they have, they get hot. They won six in a row. And they should have won seven, but they blew it. They should have they should no, they should have had a nine-game winning sheet. They should have won the game in L.A. They should have won the first the two in L.A. No, and the worried first one in they, just need, they, need a, they need pitching, though. I mean, CC just won the DL. They now. need an ace. They don't have one. Tanaka's Dude, Tanaka's... Tanaka's can we talk about Tanaka for a second? Tanaka's horrible. Tanaka, like... Come on. The home runs, three home runs a game. The home runs he's were just, always a problem. He'd always give up like an early home run or two, but then once that was done, he'd lock in and he'd be fine. No, the reasons why he has some of those wins and no decisions is because, because of the offense, offense was bailing him game. out. No, yeah. But what if you, like, when I went through game one of the, st- oh, wow, I almost said Stanley Cup final. Game one of the World Series, you have Tanaka you on the mound. No. And, and you're, six face, oh seven ERA you're facing right Clayton now? Kershaw. You're playing Clayton Kershaw. Right now, right now with Sabathia Hurt too. Number one, I'm Pineda. putting in there. Pineda. Severino. I'm putting Savvy. Yeah, but Pineda Savvy's right now is lights out Pineda later. right now is their one. Their three-man staff right now with four-man staff because CeCe's hurt. It's Montgomery Pineda. looks very good, It's too. Pineda, Montgomery, Severino. Tenaki. He didn't push bad last night. No, he didn't. At all. I thought he pushed very no. well. He gave one early mistake up. He gave their early home run up. But then the offense got back, and they tied it up, and then the bullpen blew the game again. And he chatting, but Who pitched that? He's coming back Eighth Sunday. Ninth. Cool. Chapman's coming back Sunday. Is he? Yep. Is he going to be the same Chapman, he's pitching, 105 he's, miles an hour Chapman? He's pitching a... He's hit 105 in a while. I don't, I don't know who he's pitching for. I don't I'm think he's hit 500. And, oh, my God. Boston's two games behind the Yankees. I know. They got to... And then uh, Tampa's two. five and a half, which we don't really need to worry about. It's just Boston right now. Nah, I see, like... What I, what I believe... The Rays are getting hot, too, right now. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can't be struggling before... Especially before the no, yeah. All-Star break. Baltimore's been... Baltimore's been struggling. Toronto is, is everyone. The AL is starting to catch up now. Baltimore and Toronto tied for last, but only a game below 500. The MLB trade deadline is second best division in baseball right now. July 31st. So the Yankees have about a month and a half to really see where they are and if they are well. I, I, apparently they're a winning team. They are correct. I believe gonna, so. I believe they can easily make the playoffs. I'm not going to say. They, they I think they're one of the best the teams pennant. as of right now. 100%. They're, they're a top five team. Top that, two in the league, in the American I think Houston and the Yankees. Houston I think it's the ALCS. Yankees. ALCS, they're, they're in it. Definitely. I'm scared of Houston. I think, I think Dallas Keuchel could shut down the Yankees. I think Keuchel did it three years ago. And the Wild Card game. And all we got was Tanaka pitching. And I was like, oh my God. He a joke of the Yankees. He could do it again. Houston. And they're deep. He should have thrown a perfect game. That's how I said it. It'll be Houston, Yankees, ALCS. And Houston, for some reason, just has the Yankees number. And just a better team right well, now. Well, on Jared Jeter Day, they killed them. Yeah, yeah but scored. if the Yankees... Ten runs like to win it. The hell out of here, man. Who was pitching that game? Tanaka? Tanaka pitched Tanaka that, pitched that night game. The first game you give them two many runs. Game, you I'm back telling back you. Run. I'm telling you, if you don't have starting pitching... They're not going to go I don't anywhere. care what kind of offense you have. You're not going to win. Yes. No, you're not going to win every night. Because the offense isn't going to... They're so, not scoring ten runs every night. You need pitching. I think they should give up... You need to win 3-2, 2-0, 2-1 to games. I just want... Remember we watched... win innings. We watched... Yankees Classics the other night of Andy yes. Pettit pitching a one hitter yes. through seven innings of the World Series in Game Five in '96. Like that's insane. That's what they need. They need a pitcher like Andy. They need an Andy Pettit. That's what they think Jordan Montgomery's gonna be. Andy Hopefully. Pettit. I, He's looking very good so far. I, they have Chance Adams coming up. He's in Triple Y. He's pitching uh, good. One of their top pitching prospects just had uh, Tommy John James. Yeah, Crowley. they just drafted. He's somebody, getting yeah. back. They drafted twenty-five right-handed pitchers. I saw that. And they drafted like in, two two infielders and like yeah, four outfielders. Yeah, twenty-five right-handed pitchers they took. I guess that's how the draft, like, uh, how many rounds are there, like 60? A load. There's a lot. That's crazy. That would be might even be more than that. So many players get drafted out. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, because it's, you need, there's four different levels. There's majors, yeah, there's double A, single A, triple A. With nine, posi- nine positions. position players on the field at each time. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you could bring them all up to the MLB like the Yankees should, but okay. <laughs> they just need pitching. They, they do, they do, and... I think they should really. You don't think they should give up an outfielder? there? I think no, that was. I mean, right I think because no one's taking honestly, with, not giving up picks. 
So they're like, you're like, you're more, who's gonna take Rush Schneider? No looking, one. Looking That's what I'm saying. Looking you have to get off like, something to get something. Looking into like... Yes, but I'm not giving... I wouldn't do that. Like a Come year on. or two from now with the whole like because, Harper free agency looming. Oh, here we go. If they <laughs> can... <laughs> man. Giving up an outfielder right now would not be bad. They were talking like Bryce Harper might want to go to the Cubs or something, but the Yankees have the money. If they Makes the most valuable franchise in sports. Yes. Million if they, dollars. they, they <laughs> everyone knows they have the money. If they move an outfielder or two, they still have Frazier in the minors. Well, so they have, they have all of them down there. I that, think they can afford to move with to Harper the too. If that would just make if they if everyone somehow stayed healthy, if Judge continued to play the way he was, Gardner, I don't know how long he's got left. Ellsbury stays. How long did he sign for? He signed for a while, he's right? Got like a seven lot of years. He's got yeah, seven years. It's going to be very tough to pass. Really? Yeah, as long as he stays healthy. But then you throw Harper into that too, and you still have Hicks, and then you have Frazier in the minors. And yeah, you but you got to waste the money on Harper if you have all those outfielders. But exactly, but if you can sell those for, if you can take those guys, I'm not saying trade them definitely, but just looking ahead, like if they really want Harper that badly, and they want to put it on the line, they need to trade. One or two of those outfielders and try and get a pitcher out of it. I'm going to look up Aaron. Ellsbury signed for seven years in 2014. He's a restricted. He's an unrestricted free agent in 2020. Or even if they want to trade on the guy, they got a first baseman. Really, the only no, positions they they're first right shaky right now is pitcher and first baseman. They need a pitcher. Last night, Sanchez got hurt and so did Hicks. Yep. So, so Sanchez just stayed there. Yeah, and I don't know how long Hicks is because that's an Achilles. That's probably going to be a while. Um, uh, Girardi says it's going to be a long time for both of them, but hey, as of right now, Sanchez day today. So that means Roll Mine is going to get a lot of playing what time. Rush Shine is going to get a lot of playing time. What did you say before the Harper thing? Who? What did you say? What about? Talk about something before you mentioned Bryce Harper. And I was going to say something. I don't, I don't know, but you really <sighs> see now that you have these injuries, you're telling me how much does Hicks get paid? I'm going to look up how much he Hicks get paid. Because if he's getting paid not a lot of money and he gets healthy, I would easily trade him for... I would not. Why? Because he's performing. Why would you just give that up? Because you can get something in return. Better. He's getting paid $1.3 million this season. That's not a lot. I know. No, do you know how many teams would want that? Why would you give up a above 300 hitter and an above 400 on-base percentage hitter right there? And the, a good fielder. Oh, that's his cash already. Just ro- he robbed the grand slam against... His current contract... Los Angeles. Was he... It's is $574,000. There are players in the MLB Wait, that are getting paid 300 something million dollars a year, and this guy's getting paid half a million to play. 574000 I know, and I take that back, because if you're paying that much for a, for a player, that's crazy. Half a million dollars for what Hicks is doing? If I'm Aaron Hicks, I'm going to... Cashman right now and be like, give me cash. Like, well, they, were not, they did not expect him to have the season he's having. I mean, how he played last yeah, year. Oh my god, he had the worst season of his career they, last year. They tr- no, last year was a really bad season for X. I mean, that's like understandable. Like that's like it's kind of the same thing. Like Odell, he's probably one of the most underpaid players in the NFL right now. But he's, he's on his rookie, rookie contract. He's on his Curry's? rookie. You see Curry? He's on his rookie contract, so he's not making Stephen much Curry. There, there's players that are getting paid more than Stephen Curry who who ride the bench. I know. That's great. So does uh. Oh man, Connor McDavid. Connor McDavid sold his rookie contract. He's won the R Ross this year. He's gonna probably twenty. He's, he's twenty. Yeah, he's on his three year level edgy contract. You know, do you know how much his extension is gonna be? Yeah. If he especially if he wins MVP, you're thinking Kane, Kane and Tays like he's gonna get paid yeah. nine years. 10 I mean, he million deserves dollars. it. I, eh. He absolutely does. Ah, eh. fluke. <laughs> Bad. Him. Yeah, no, the Yankees. I think they should focus on it. Yeah, the Yankees traded for Hicks, so they're not. This isn't. His they game. gave up. They they traded him for John Ryan Murphy. Okay. When? So was that during last 20, season? In twenty in November of twenty fifteen. Yeah, so that's what I thought. Season Two seasons. Yeah. So, so Hicks last year. This Myers? isn't his contract. No. Hicks played they, during the season last year. He played a little. Yeah. yeah. They didn't play a lot though, right? Hicks, he sucked. He, he sucked. Last year. Yeah. All I remember. Sure. Him, all I remember him from last year was having the hardest thrown ball. Yeah. How's that? Out that sad cast really? Yep. What game was that? Answer was there. That was Oakland? Yep. Oh, man. I would have loved to have been that game. That was a nice throw, too. Um, I remember that now. Judge is 500 foot owner. That's insane. Someone's the retired numbers four, and left. 490. Uh, 496. Give me a break. Give me a break. 500 <laughs> feet. This is the last time a player said 500 feet in the MLB. Stanton? Probably. I think, I think Stanton hit what? I think 
That's what they're all Stanton comparing him to, like, anyway. I think, what was Stanton? 5'10", I think. Oh, my God, no. Judge's size? Don't even talk about Judge's size. Like, we already know he's six, huge. 6'7", two, what, seven? 510. Oh, size of yeah. Gronk. He could have played... He got D1 offers and uh for tight end. I just oh, Stan, Stan hit a 510 foot home run in the Derby. That's what it was. Ah, but that's a Derby. No, uh, yeah. no, I didn't look at that during the Derby. It's bad in no. practice. Judge will see how if far. If Aaron Judge doesn't do the home run Derby, he's going he to. Said he, he said. Choice he said no. He said. He said I'm not worried about it messing up my swing. After all, it's just batting practice. No, that's what exactly what, what it is. Who can I can hit a 400 foot bomb and batting and. If you, right. really, if you really stepped into one, maybe. <laughs> maybe if you that. stepped into one also. I saw the pictures, uh, the video of you at the yeah. home, at the derby yesterday at the uh, center. So, softball game, yeah. <laughs> Lined one right to a sixth grader. <laughs> Got me out. Oh, man. No, but... Uh, no, but I mean the fence at the high school is what? 392 feet. And that's, that's far as miles high. away. I, I can't would, even hit no, that. No, I cannot do that. Plus, I'm a righty. I'd have to go oppo. <laughs> I saw a kid. We played. I don't remember who played. Oppo over the right field fence. There was a kid who hit one. Probably it would have went out of Yankee Stadium right field because it's one of the shortest in the majors. But I remember hearing somebody. It was that probably Joe, the farthest ball I've seen. I remember somebody talking. Not somebody talking to me, but I heard that Joe Girardi's son was like really young and he was hitting balls yeah. over the Green Monster. Yeah. I, Green so Monsters. I mean, Green Monsters only three then. That's short. Yeah. Short, shorter than that's why. It's, that's why it's not a huge challenge. I mean, no, of course, a challenge really? in the MLB, but for those players, I mean, it's not a hard, huge challenge to get it up that high because. It's, See, that's it's why I feel like Tanaka shouldn't be pitching in small ballparks because the guy lets up one little pop up, and when he takes it, it's gone. Yeah, well, he also his balls just aren't breaking. His splitters aren't splitting. And he just his splitters are not. Everything splitting. just hangs. I think the last time. I think the last time he threw a splitter that split, I was in the womb. I swear. <laughs> I really don't think he's throwing a good splitter. He has it this year. He, he started he off well. He just lost it. I, I don't know why. He, they, it, it, apparently, all right. So, obviously, he has a contract that, that's, you know, done. It's expiring. No, yeah, it's gone. So, if you're Mashihiro Tanaka, don't you want to change something to try to get a payday? He's just doing the same thing. He's throwing he, the same splitter that's not they split. Say he's not hurt, Why doesn't he work with Larry Rothschild a little bit and like try to change his? <laughs> they say his he's weight. not hurt, but obviously something's got to be. I don't think wrong. he's hurt at all. I think he's just not I mean, changing anything to develop and adapt to the way he they has make to face it to the hitters. Season, they, they're, they're not gonna have a pitcher. Yeah, he's real. I don't know. I mean, they gotta. I'm telling you, I don't think that he is the same. He's too much of the same pitcher. And teams are figuring I think, him out. Yeah, they're figuring him out. And then when he makes a mistake, boom, it's over. No, yeah, he shuts down. He gives up one home run, and then it's just, they just pile on. Uh, I yeah. mean, well, look at who are the players that came out of that league. Pitchers. That Tanaka you, came you, out of. You Darvish? Is he, he Japanese? I think, I think... I think... I think you Darvish is right. You Darvish Japanese? Uh... But he's. If, I don't even think you Darvish is doing that good anyway either. Yeah, but if he's if Darvish is out of that same league that um Tanaka came Tanaka out came of, out of it's the same thing. Yeah, he's from Japan. Yeah, well, I don't know. I just feel like Tanaka just got to try, try to change something. These players, they they play sick over there, and they come here and they have a good season or two, and then they get figured out. Well, look at Ichiro. Matsui did not in the Japanese Matsui. Matsui I'm talking about pitchers. Well, no, ah, Matsu is a legend. <laughs> yeah, Matsu is yes, a legend. I think, anyway, yeah. I, I had this conversation with my buddy the other day. Do you think he should be a retired Yankee? Or the Yankee? I mean, they the Yankees retire. The Yankees retire everyone. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, what, but why not Matsu? He didn't play long enough. A 2009 World Series MVP. He didn't play long enough, though. He played for 2004. Are you just thinking of every World Series MVP, their number retired then? No, absolutely not, because they're like, already on the wall. He was a Yankee legend. Like That's what I'm saying. If you're going to retire Posada... Who I mean, he was oh, no, 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 yeah, no, 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 you, Jeter Rivera, all right, well, obviously, look at, look at Pettit Jeter, and Rivera. Jeter, Pettit, Jeter Rivera. Andy Pettit. We had famous. this conversation yesterday. Andy Pettit, probably the best postseason pitcher in baseball history. The most, the most wins in the postseason. Yeah. Mariano Rivera, the most saves in baseball history. Dyer Jeter. He's Dyer Jeter. That name should already be in the Hall of Fame. That's, yeah. But Jorge Posada, you know, I think he's overshadowed. He had a clutch home run he against was, Minnesota in yeah. 2009 playoffs. Like, that's 10 years. That's, like, way after his prime. 
You know, like his I prime. I sort of Raul Abanez. Raul Abanez had a. Oh, so one of these Baltimore. <laughs> yeah, he also he also played for Seattle. Like, are you kidding? He a brain Raul Abanez. <laughs> I'll never forget when he nah, hit those two home runs. That was crazy. Oh man, no, you look up. Have you ever seen the YouTube videos where it's like the clutches home runs? I don't even think Pettit's a Hall of Famer. What are you saying, Pettit's not a Hall of Famer? He's only got 256 career wins, 385 DRA. Pretty fast. Let me strike out. You're telling me that's not a Hall of Fame pitcher? No. You got at least 300 wins. Are you kidding me? He makes it up for his postseason 20, wins. 2,400 strikeouts. He's got five rings. He's got five rings, nine what, nineteen postseason he's wins? A, he's got a rookie of the year. Yeah, but how many how many NBA championships does what's his face have? James Jones. With with LeBron. As many as LeBron has. I don't know James For Ryan the Bench. I don't know. He he's won every championship with you LeBron. You tell me Andy Pettit didn't I'm not saying Andy Pettit, but should James Jones be in the be in the Hall of Fame because he's a but however many times Yeah, you could say the same exact thing. Exactly. Exactly. won those rings. About just yeah, Pettit won them. Wait, but I'm saying rings is hard to like determine a player as like he could have been okay in one of those rings. Like, do you think, I don't know, I mean, think of someone who has a lot of rings. Would that played okay? Do you think they would be Hall of Fame caliber? Chris Kunitz. Chris Kunitz has four Stanley Cups, and you're telling me yeah, he won't be Yeah, but he's got Crosby on his team. Oh, my God. He won two Cups without him. Oh, no. How many Cups does he have? Five or four? Kunitz. Oh, he, no. Did he win with Carolina? No, I won with Anaheim. He won with Anaheim in 07, his rookie season. Wins in 09, and then 16-17. And then You're telling me he's not a Hockey Hall of Famer? I don't think he's a Hall of Famer. I don't think he's a Hall of Famer at all either. But... Then what are you trying to argue here? Because I'm saying, that's, I was trying to defend your point. Defend your yeah, point I as in... Ch- I wouldn't call him But, a you're, but what about Pettit? Pettit? Give me a I break. Mean, he's I would, best I'm leaning picture. towards more yes than no, but I could see the argument for you don't, no. You don't think you think Pettit should be in the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame? What are you saying? Oh, That's crazy. Are you just saying that? No, I, just, I don't think he's statistically good enough. Do you think Phil Hughes is supposed to be in the Hall of Fame? Andrew? Like, come on. That's I ridiculous. I don't think he's statistically he's not good enough to be in the Hall of Fame. Andrew. Andrew, are you kidding? You gotta be Under 300 wins, a 385 ERA, 2,400 strikeouts. You just... Give me a break. He's got 19 <laughs> postseason wins. All right. That's ridiculous. See how hard it is to win a postseason game against an MLB and an MLB game? He's got 19 of them. How many do you think he started? Two, maybe, each series? He's played what? 20, 25 that's series? The, that's also due to the team success that the Yankees had. And, by how, get, by getting, and how did they get there? By, by, getting, Pettit. To, by getting to the postseason. With, how did they get there? Pettit doesn't play every game, though. He oh, my God. He once a week. That's crazy that you guys don't think Pettit's hot. I don't think he's all over. That's crazy. I cannot I, wait until the day I'm, I mean, is, oh, I'm, I'm leaning towards... I'm not as pessimistic as he is with it, but I'm... I mean, I just looked at the stats, and it's just... I think there's definitely there's definitely more of a chance than not a chance for him to make it. But look at all the people that get... Saying? Look at all the people that get well, snubbed Exactly, there are a lot year. of snubs. Like That's why I don't think he'd be considered, just because... I agree with your point, but 19 postseason wins? No, yeah, that's big. Come on. He's the reason. He's one of the reasons why the... Yet- if they don't win Game 5 against Atlanta in 96, do you think they win the World Series? I wasn't alive for that, so I would I wasn't alive either, but do you think they would win the World Series? I mean, are they going to loss another, another loss away? Maybe not. And th- do you think the dynasty starts after 96? What if they don't win that World Series? You think 98 they win? 99? They probably unload after 96. With the players they have. Derek Jeter, who's this kid? Did nothing, see ya. Andy <laughs> Pettit, Andy Pettit were sending you to Houston yeah, but he early. Won. What? Andy Pettit won. But exactly, like, Andy Pettit won. Okay, but that, right, so he used to be in the Hall of Fame because that one postseason win right there. You know what? That could have started and his career. And the 18 others. That could have started his career easily. Okay, but he's just not a Hall of Fame pitcher. Oh, my God. There's been great pitchers that just haven't been in that don't make the Hall of Fame. I think it's harder to be a Hall of Fame them. pitcher than it is to be a hitter. I think it's much harder to make the Hall of Fame as a pitcher. That's why I think Pettit doesn't get enough credit. He's a good pitcher. Oh, he didn't he also have a controversy with uh, performance enhancing drugs? Pettit? Yes. He did, right? Oh, man. Does that immediately negate him or? No. I mean. That's crazy. Because I remember they had the controversy. I don't think it was was as big as like. I mean, here's a list. I'll just name some of them from Sporting News. The 25 best players not in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Okay. As of what year? Does anybody even hold This came out in. A couple years. I just take four years, five years? January 4th, 2016. Okay, so this is... Relevant. Yeah. Very recent. 
Who made the art? Well, okay, keep going. I'll just say the names. Barry Bonds. Well, that's yes. Understandable. Pete Rose. Obviously. Understandable. All right, so these are just controversial. These aren't snobs. These are just Clemens. These are controversial yeah, yeah, players. Piazza, Griffey Jr., which he just he just Griffey, Griffey just got, got put in. And Piazza yeah. just got in. Yeah, they both yeah. just got in. That was what I was say. Jeff Bagwell. Bagwell got in. Yeah. Tim Raines. Tim Raines got in. Alan Trammell. Shoeless Joe Jackson. Yeah, but but that's, he's yeah. but that's controversial. Whole, yeah. Edgar Martinez. Kurt Schilling. Kurt Schilling's a bum. Mike yeah, Musina. Kind of bomb. Mike Musina. Oh my god! No, I'm it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Phil Hughes. <laughs> he won at least 15 games 11 times. Oh, it's hot. Oh! oh just... he's, the, he's, only, he's only the 10th pitcher as of this since 1950 to have had more 15 win seasons. And. Who? Roger Clemens and Jack Morris are the only two to have this stat that are in the Hall of Fame. Wait. Clemens. Clemens, I don't so know. Clemens isn't in. I don't, I don't like Kurt Schilling at all. Mark McGuire, but... Come on. Wait, I'm confused. Wait, what did this dude just say? Did you say... What's his... Clemens isn't in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Maybe it's the three of them with that stat that haven't been in. All right, well, that's confusing. I don't know. Do you think... You really don't think Pettit... Okay. I, think I, could, I could agree with your disagree. I don't care. The only two out of the core four that I make could be Rivera and Jeter. Posada and I don't think Posada is a hundred. Uh, I don't think Posada. Zero percent chance Posada makes a lot of it. But you're telling me if you have ten rings, uh, whatever, ten, or however many rings you have, and you also, like, look at his stats. Look at Posada's career stats. He's is he close to a 300 hitter? No, right? Doubt it. But what if he was? You're telling me that. Then, then he would be in the whole thing. Alright, what if he's like at but 270? He's also anybody. If he's at 270 right now, a lifetime. Does Steven Drew bat at 300 for his career be in the whole thing? Look how many at bats Posada had. Posada had over a lot of. He had what, maybe two hundred? How many bats do you get a year? I don't know. A thousand? I think maybe you bat maybe about two or three times, maybe four a game. So if you play every game. I'm just. I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna look up career stats. If you get three at bats a game, then you bat. You only hit two hundred seventy-three home runs, only a thousand RBIs. All right, but look at his post. Two seventy-three. Oh my God! What if he was ten points up? Two eighty-three. Still not a Hall of Fame. Look at his postseason stats. If you bet at least three times a game, and you play, say you play every game, that's maybe it's two seventy five hitter, four hundred and eighty six, two forty eight batting average. So we went down to the postseason. All right, fine. It's All not right. a whole. Four hundred, four hundred eighty six at bats. Put that in my head. All right. Well, he has had a total of games played appearances seven thousand one hundred fifty. He's only had. One thousand six hundred sixty-four hits. Okay. So what if he had like? All right. Fine. I mean, what, I if, what if? Any I'm just saying. What if he had better stats? 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 Like then yes, he'd be in the Hall of Fame. But if what you have if five rings and stats? you're the backstop of five World Series and the core of there have been better oh. catchers than him though. He was a good hitter. He was yes. undoubtedly a very good hitter. Not one of the best hitters of all time, but he was a. He was a reliable I'm hitter. One of the best hitters of all time, with only two hundred something home runs. I'm not, say, I'm not saying yeah, one of the best yeah. of all time, but Come I'm on. saying he wasn't. He wasn't a liability. You don't think Bernie Williams is a Hall of Fame? Let's see stats. I think Bernie Williams is less of a Hall of Famer than Posada. Just, why? Just because he won another World Series? No, because Jorge Posada is considered in the core four, even if he wasn't. I think Bernie Williams yeah, is the core four, four. Is just a just a thing. Like it's just, just a, it's just it's a, a name. It's just a, a name. Like I, could call, I could call Brett Gardner, Hicks, and Judge like the outfielding power trio right now. Why? Right. That would stick in it. They go call. Forever. They call. The, they the call. Bald brothers. The Ball Brothers. Yeah. See, it's a name. The Ball Brothers. Yeah, but it's you. A name. Oh my God! But you said the core four. The kid line. That's a name. You know what, Matt? Uh, Thirty about two ninety seven. EMC squared line. A name. Two ninety seven with two eighty seven home runs and only twelve hundred RBIs. So. so what, Matt? Hall of Famer? How many years did he play though? He didn't play 16. a lot of years. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that is a lot of years. What ta- when did he retire? Is he even considered retired? I remember looking at something a while ago and just hearing that like he could return because he never retired. He just left and like didn't sign. But he said he must go play the guitar. Yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> good guitar. It's a good guitar. Part. Him and Henry Longo should have a jam session. Henry Longo plays an instrument. Yeah, he plays a guitar. <laughs> really? Yeah. He plays a John McEnroe all the time. <laughs> 
Oh man. Uh, that's really funny. Uh, another topic is struggling Carter. Horrible. We've already like talked yeah, about we've it, already but, like, touched he's upon just... that. But can we just elaborate how bad he is? I don't know if face, but... I don't. I don't know if like you I mean, do you follow John. He's Boy? actually. He's actually been. No, getting... he's past road trip. He can't no, play no, in he's stadium. Been, he's been getting hot in June. He can't play. But he's like, game. it's like the flame is igniting. It's sitting there for a little bit, and a he, gust of wind comes by and blows it. No, out. no, it's like, it's like he blows it out. He steps on it by accident. Like, come on. I mean, he falls asleep, and he, as he exhales, forty-one while he's, while home runs last season. He's got what, four or five this season. Six. I mean, everyone slumps, but like this is just Let me see. He's unreal. Got, I think he's got eight. He hit one last night. Chris, seven. Like as good as judges, as good as Judge is doing right now, he'll hit a wall. He'll slump for a little bit. But Carter hasn't started. Every player slumps. Yeah, yeah everyone, all everyone time. slumps. Didi Gregorius, do you think a 16, 17 game hitting sheet's gonna Chris last? Chris Carter in June right now, forty three bats, batting two seventy. He's lucky he still has three forty on base percentage. He's lucky three he home runs and eight RBI. Okay, 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 okay. See, I don't think I think what everybody's overshadowed by is that he was expected to put up forty home runs yes, as the Yankees. Yes, and. But I think that we're all overreacting because we thought of that. And look at the Yankees offense. Do we have oh, yeah, how many players now with over 10 home that's runs? That's what you're just, like thinking of. Like everyone's Gardner Holiday, San- Gardner, Holiday Sanchez, Hicks. Six Judge. Yankees have over 11 homers. I'm sorry, Aaron Hicks has 10. So they have so six, six have players. at least 10. But like that's like saying like because everyone's Chase hot now too. mesmerized he's been, he's been by May, but he's doing good in June right now. Everyone's mesmerized by how many home runs they're hitting and how they're hitting. Just dingers just left and right I think everywhere. They're expecting everybody that to hit They're numbers. expecting everyone to hit a home run, and Carter is a home run hitter, which makes it worse. I mean, what else? Yes, I know. He's obviously a home run the hitter. The only reason why why we got Carter was for him to hit home yes. runs. Yes. So that's why, if he doesn't do that, what else? What uses he? But got? that helps, though, exactly. because while so they weren't he's expecting. He's a home run or strikeout hitter. We think, he's, he's, a, we think he's a good defensive player. He misses a ball. CC gets hurt because of it. I'm not saying because of that. But if that they're out of the inning, CC doesn't have the opportunity to get hurt. Who and knows? He gets hurt the next inning or later in the game instead of that. Maybe he didn't stretch right. Then it's not blamed on the Carter. It's not blamed on the Carter drop, and Chris no. Carter doesn't have this on him. I don't think it's Carter's fault. Well, if you drop the ball, you get out of the inning. He doesn't throw those next. What, if, ball what if CC didn't stretch right and then he goes out the next inning? Yeah, but then it's the next inning, and then it's just all right. It's a what if. It's a big what if. Yeah, it's what if. I'm just saying. Like, I don't think you should blame that on Carter. That's like I think so. If the queen had a cup, he'd be a king. It's all right. Who? Who? Oh, I didn't get it. I was like, the queen had a cubby be a king. Like, sorry, sorry, I'm a king. <laughs> Where's my crown? <laughs> oh man, yeah, no, I think just the reason why Carter is struggling, he's just trying to do too much, or not enough. I don't know. He doesn't get like mad either. He strikes out. He just walks back. He doesn't get like. He has no either. reaction. He's no emotion. He looks like a frog. He looks like a frog. It's crazy. God. <laughs> Oh boy! No, you know who's really starting to surprise me though? Chase Headley, because yeah, he had a, yeah, he's he had a rough, he had a rough May, but he's turning it around right now. He was what a six game history had, right he now. He had a really rough June, start of June. I mean, the hitting streak's like Didi. What I was saying before, Didi's like he's on a seventeen game hitting streak. Obviously, he's overshadowed at some point. everybody. He's, he's top shortstop in the league. Gregorius. He's yes. he's lucky he still has hitting streak because he got it. He got the other hit in extra innings. Still counts. Though. Yeah, it still counts. But what I'm saying is, it's gonna end eventually. But that day, like. The hitting, if the hitting streak ends, he beat it. He's not beating down that. Yes, he is. But if the hitting streak ends, now everyone's gonna like jump on him and be like, "Oh, what the hell!" Like, no, it's expected to end. Just like Carter is. He's, gonna he's gonna, if he goes over the next thirty-five, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna jump, jump on him. I'm gonna yes, jump but on if he goes over three tonight, I know. But he's batting over three hundred. He's been playing in nine thirty tonight. If the Gregorius doesn't play, I'm not gonna be like, "Oh, George Rice, you're dead." He's like, trade him. No, the Carter. <laughs> they're expecting Carter to heat up. That's why they're gonna keep putting him in there. No, they're not. No, the reason why. I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait. That's great. Um, I've been up to like two in the morning watching. If you look at, if you look at Chris Carter, who are you like? The reason why they keep playing is because oh yeah, whatever. He's gonna. But that's their only option. They're not gonna. They don't want to. Who are they gonna play at first base? Right, they've had Ref Snyder there a few times. Ref Snyder. Ref Snyder's not. He's not a first baseman. He played great when he made his MLB debut. He what the home run against Boston his first first hit. That was amazing. I thought he was gonna be honestly. I thought he was gonna be the next thing. I thought he was gonna be the next thing. I really thought he was going to be the next so great Yankee, too. honestly. I thought he was going to be the next second base. You know who I feel bad for? Kyle Higashioka. He just yeah. breaks in triple A. Yeah, he, oh, he's, he's played his whole career ball. in triple A. Like, he like he finally goes up. Well, now that Sanchez is hurt, they might bring him up. Yeah, if this is Sanchez's day to day, they're not going to put him on the DL. No, yeah. What if he's badly hurt, though? They're not gonna, I don't think they put him on the DL to make another roster move. No, yeah, they won't. It's not gonna be badly hurt if Girardi came out today. And said they're gonna do everything. They're gonna do everything they can. We gotta see what the well. It's too hard. He'll probably, probably sit today. That's what I'm saying. Put, they'll catch Roman. Who's backing up? 
They actually, who was it? Someone's their backup, like, I think Torres, emergency. Is Torres, Torres, Torres is their, is their emergency, emergency catcher. catcher. That's crazy. No, Torres is Tobias. nice. He should play tonight. Oh, my God. I love Torres. I don't know. Where is he going to play? Third base. Throw him at first. Chase, Chase Hadley's hot. Didi's hot today. Throw him at first. He's, he's a utility player. He plays baseball. everywhere. He's, 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 he's very small. I forgot how small he is. Yep. I, I'd rather have him at first base. No, yeah. Chris Corner. Maybe, maybe he actually... No, I'll put... I forgot how small he was. They may... No, they'll probably put... Because with Hicks injured now, they'll probably put Gardner in, Gardner in center tonight, maybe. If Hicks doesn't play, which he probably won't. And they'll well, that's what they had last night. Gardner was in center. Yeah, they'll put Ref Snyder... Wait, did he play the whole game in center, and they'll put No. They'll put Ref Snyder in left, and then Judge will play right. Judge will stay right, yeah. And they'll probably have Carter at first, Castro, Didi, Headley, and then Roman Ketchy. Who's pitching tonight? Right? Seven. Seven? Hopefully he just stays hot like he has been. See, if he pitches well, they're going to win. And yeah, then there's the, ball, the bullpen needs... They showed a stat last night. Four pitchers pitch Tuesday, or five... Right out of the bullpen. They don't. They just. Say he's five to two with a two seven five ERA. What's his ERA? Two seven five. Two seven five. That's ERA. good. That's. It's excellent. Under three legit. runs a game. How many innings has he pitched so far? This is his side. He's ninth in the ninth in the in MLB in ERA right now. The Yankees. He's what pitched, are they averaging? How many he's runs? Seventy five like, innings. How many runs the Yankees averaging a game? Like how many do they score a game on average? The Yankees averaging thirty runs a game. Now I'll look at it up right now because it's crazy the amount of runs they score. The Yankees yeah, are first in the MLB with five seventy-two runs scored. They are first in the MLB with five point eight runs scored per game. You, you fourth have, in the MLB giving up four runs a game. First in hits, averaging nine point eight hits a game, and only allowing seven. That's really the top only third. thing they need. Is they are just, top four in in hitting and defense. All they need is just good pitching. Ready? So that's their only oh problem. Oh my goodness! Look at this. They are first in the MLB for an average, tied for first with 277. This is the best offensive team in baseball. On base percentage, 353. Slogan percentage, tied for first, 473. OPS, 826, good for first. Home runs, 106, good for first. And tied for eighth in stolen bases with 40, which is crazy, actually. And their pitching and defense is the only thing they lack. But their ERA is good. They, they, have, they have the third lowest ERA. That's what I'm saying, ER, the third lowest. But they don't have... The bullpen. They don't. Yes, and they don't have a pitcher where he's going out and he's getting them a win. And ninety six. They make it to the postseason. They, post they don't. They make it to the postseason. They're like throwing somebody out for game one and like we're we're shutting this team down. With Severino out there first game. No, Severino's not he, a game one pitcher. So come he, on. If he, he keeps Severino? pitching, no. If he keeps pitching the he's way never, he yeah, is. Yeah, you just said he's what five and two. Yes, he's pitching good, but he's never pitched a postseason game. Who cares? Five and just two, another game. Se- he's five and two, and in seventy five innings pitched, he has eighty four strikeouts. You wouldn't want him as a game one ALC ALDS starter against. If they have nobody else, yes. But right now he's, I mean, he's good. He's right now, himself. right now, right the playoffs are. Right, right now, the, the, the Yankee staff. Right yeah. now, the playoffs are game one. Who do you put out? I don't know because if, if Sabathia is healthy, you help put out Severino. Sabathia is isn't there right now. I would not put CC out for game. No. I'm sorry, he's not the same. I would. He's not the same. He's not the same, and I don't want to take that risk as a game one. I don't want to take the risk. But of I don't want to. Ta- I, don't, I don't want to take the risk of an unproven second-year starter who pitched horrible Absolutely. last year. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Severino's a future freaking ace. Yes, what he do last? I'm saying he's he's unproven himself yet. He hasn't had an entire season. He's pitching. Oh my he God, out this season. He doesn't have a full season under his belt yet. He hasn't played an entire season yet. Yeah, but he oh came my up God. halfway through two years ago and was in and out of the bullpen and up and down. His last, last start against Baltimore, first game. he pitched seven innings, gave him awesome. two hits and one run. That he's was the pitching, game he had a no-hitter. He like had a perfect game through five and a half innings. Yes. Five and a half innings. He's doing a perfect game against Baltimore, him. which is arguably... I'm gonna but check wait, so if he's back. pitching this good, then you wouldn't want to save him for later in a... You're losing... You want to get, you get the first win. Get it the first win, you pitch game four or five. Or Sabath- if there's a game exactly. four or five. Right now, Sabathia's my game one starter. And then when does Severino pitch? Later, two or three. So you'd rather have a possible game four or five. It depends how the... How the games happen. Yeah, but if you're Girardi, why would you want? I would take Severino. No, why would you? He's been there Severino before. The he knows what it takes. He's been there before. Yeah, but he's a different pitcher than he was then. He's a power pitcher then. Hey, now but still. He's, he's, a, he's a finesse pitcher. <laughs> but now still. Now a finesse. You're a pitcher. Pitch. He, Give me a break. I mean, when he lost his weight, is when it, his power, all his power and speed. Yeah, he's he's got no speed power anymore. anymore. He can't get a pitch over 92 miles per hour. He's getting the job done, though. You're telling me if you go up against Houston, ALCS, game one, you're telling me against that powerhouse team you want a finesse pitcher in Sabathia? Springer hitting Severino home runs. Right, so I, want, I want Sevy throwing 198 to these guys that if they make contact, the ball's going out. 
Oh, at God. Yankee Stadium? He's blowing oh, it by him. Yeah. You to can George stand, Springer? Oh, my, you can say that about anything. Yes, I know you can, but I'm taking against that young lineup. So what you're saying is, what you're saying is, Chapman, if, if you put Chapman in there, it's going to hit Dinger? Yeah, yeah just because they make contact with 105 mile hour base. I can't make contact with 105 mile hour base. But they're not making contact. That's the problem. Seven not like unhittable. Severino's lights out. Yes, he is lights out. I think he's fantastic. I know he's not unhittable. He's still unhittable. Severino gives up no runs tonight. You you coming back on this show and you're telling me that he's the game one starter for this season's uh, postseason? You're telling me that if he has them no runs, Severino is the best. I hope pitcher. he does. I hope he doesn't give up any pitcher. runs. I'm right sorry. now, yes. And yeah, if he maybe loses this game, lose the next game, yeah, maybe I'll rethink it because maybe he's struggling a little bit. But see, he's a bad thing. He's got a hamstring injury now. Right. Really want... Yeah, come on. I run that Phil Hughes. <laughs> I hate Phil Hughes. Oh man! All right, so uh, I think that's it. I think those are the topics we talked about. We got yep. a little arguments out. Much covered everything. I just want to thank Matt and Andrew for joining me tonight. It was a. Uh, it's been a pleasure. It was an excellent it's, podcast. It's been fantastic. I hope to be back. I hope you guys are right. back. All right, so thanks. Right. That was a good one. That was. Yeah, was nice. Jesus. You're telling me no. You're telling me no. Come on, come on, bro. Severino's not lights out. Himself. He's lights out. Best pitcher on the Yankees right now. He's got the best ERA. Coach, the comments rolling.